this just shows you how amazing people can actually be because um, a lot of people will recognize this man, but uh, a lot of people would have just Driven had past. their windows shut mm -hmm. and carried on. But not Tracy Van Royen. No. She sent in a Christmas wish. She says, I'm writing in about a homeless man named Mohammed Salim Issa. Mm -hmm. Mohammed sells the homeless talk every day at the robots on the intersection of Cedar Road and Witkoppen in four ways. He's the most pleasant person and I always pay extra for his newspaper. Sadly, not only is Mohammed homeless, but he is disabled as well. I can imagine some people mm. thinking... I've driven past this man many mm. times. I perhaps, perhaps I've, I've I've bought the homeless talk of him. Or perhaps I've kept my window rolled up and just driven past. Yes. From what I can understand, he was knocked over by a car a few years ago, and as a result, his fingers are disfigured and his right foot has been amputated. He also has a problem with his eyesight. Despite this, he walks all the way, aided by a crutch from the Chartwell area. It's far here. Sure where he appears to have some form of lodging to this intersection every day. Muhammad also has a skin condition and it pains me to see that his hands are covered in makeshift bandages. Mm. Now, before we go any further, we've got Pauline on the line. Good morning, Pauline. Oh, okay. Pauline? Uh, hello? Hello, Pauline. Hi. Hi, Pauline. Uh, you are busy. You are in your car right now with uh, Muhammad. Okay, can you put uh, Mohammed on the line for us, please? Sure. Mohammed, you're talking to the speaker. Oh, okay. There's, there's people want to talk to Mohammed. This one? He, he can talk to you. Hello, Mohammed. Yes, sir. Morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. How are you today? I'm all right and you well. Good. I'm sure you're not looking forward to standing at that intersection in the rain, huh? Hey? Okay. Are you looking forward to standing in the rain? Um, no. I'm not here today. <laughs> Shame, man. Okay, now, Mohammed, um, this is uh, the Breakfast Express. My name is Darren, and uh, my co host is uh, Sam here. And um, you've touched a few people out there at the intersection selling your homeless talks, Mohammed. Yeah. You've touched a few people's hearts because um, a certain lady, Tracy Van Royen, has sent in mm -hmm. us a Christmas wish for you. I believe you've placed an advert in the Homeless Talk newspaper before looking for assistance starting with his own mobile mm. fast food business that he wants to start. Um, but y you know what, Mohammed? Yeah. We want to get you mobile. Mm. I want to introduce a, a certain doctor to you, Mohammed. If you'll just listen very carefully to uh, to him, Doctor McCready. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Team. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Doc, can you please just tell Mohammed what you guys are going to do for him? Yes, morning, Pauline. Morning, Mohammed. Um, the basic plan is that we're going to arrange that Mohammed comes to see me in my office. I'm an orthopedic surgeon based at the Netcare Linksville Hospital. We will then do a full evaluation on that amputated leg mm. and assess the appropriateness for the fitting of an artificial leg or a prosthetic limb. That did is you wonderful. Hear, did you hear that, Mohammed? No, that is a me, Mohammed. Did you hear? The doctor's going to give you a new leg. He's going to sort out your leg so you have a new leg, so you will be able to walk without a crutch. New leg. Yeah, for you. Foot. Yeah, a new foot. Okay. Okay. Mohammed, you can kiss that crutch goodbye. Uh, I'm here for crutches and use the food for me. And... You'll get shoes. You don't have to worry about shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Mohammed? We'll throw you in a yeah. new pair of shoes, okay, for both. <laughs> we'll give you shoes too, Mohammed. Okay. I'm going to get you shoes too, boy. Don't have to worry. Hmm. Pauline? Yes. You tell us a little bit about Mohammed because I can hear he's overwhelmed. Will you tell he us is, a little bit? He is overwhelmed. Um, Mohammed lost his leg in 2000, in 1997. He had his foot amputated. 
he was in an accident here in Broad Acres in 2001. And that's when I found out that he was lying in the Sunningall Hospital. And realizing after that, after and then seeing that he doesn't have a foot on his right leg, I realized that he just had, there's no way he can travel where he was going in a taxi. Mm-hmm. And uh, he came to live with me, and um, he's been just such an awesome person. He just, there's always a smile on his face. There's always a happy face. There. He never complains about anything, and he's so grateful for what anyone does and gives him. He is just a grateful person. And uh, Dr. McCready, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite something when your, your means of work entails you standing on your feet all day. Definitely, and if you've only got one leg to stand on, that makes it much harder. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And the way he's walking, he's grinding his hip uh, very, very badly. Mm. Shame. Well, Mohammed, you're going to get fixed up, my friend. Thank you very much. Myself, I'm saying, Mohammed. It's oh, thank you very much. I'm happy today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my friend. Oh, my friend. Uh, thank you very much. You all the boy. Um, if the mama police, the mama near Thank you very Peter. much, the mama. I'm calling another brother, sister, mother. Uh, thank you very much for this. I'm happy, I'm happy. That's why I'm for me. I'm suffering very strong, man. I'm taking. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mohammed, and uh, thank you, Dr. McCready, as well. Thank you, Dr. McCready. Awesome. You won't have to worry about the name. They're going to help you. It's a pleasure, It's a pleasure. There you go. Yep. Another Christmas wish has just come true. So the next time... You are driving past uh, Cedar Road and Vitkoppen Road intersection, mm-hmm. and you see a man, not for too long, on a crutch. Mm-hmm. That is the Muhammad Salim Isa that we are talking about. That has just been granted a wish. I'm sure, Doc. How long will this process take? Um, initially, we've got to just evaluate what the condition of that uh, the leg is in. And um, then they're going to, um, through a company called Golding's Orthopedics, they're going to then mold and make a custom-made artificial limb for him. So it can take a few weeks. Okay. Yeah, so but he's been working on that for like a year yeah, now. Yeah. Walking to work, standing, rain or mm-hmm. shine, and then walking home on a crutch. So I think a few weeks is nothing. Dr. McCready, orthopedic surgeon at Netcare Linksfield Hospital, as well as the Goldings Orthopedics. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for coming to the party on this, sir. It's a pleasure. It's always great to help out such a wonderful course. Thank you. There you go. Another wish has just come true.